We're now going to look at a second version of the chain rule in multivariable calculus. This is chain rule number two. So it's a little more complicated than the last one. It says, suppose that z is a function f of x and y, and x is a function g of s and t, and y is a function h of s and t. And we want to assume that these are differentiable functions. OK, so now we could think of z as a function of s and t. Okay. So we think of z as a function of s and t. And we could say, what are the partial derivatives of z with respect to s or t? So the rule is that partial z, partial s, the sum of two terms, partial z, partial x, partial x, partial s, plus partial z, partial y, partial y, partial s. And then there's a similar rule for partial z, partial t. So it's the sum of partial z, partial x, partial x, partial t, plus partial z, partial y, partial y, partial t. So in the single variable chain rule, you just have one term like this, and you can think of it as canceling the dx's or whatever. Here, you sort of write all such products where the um, the um, first thing on the on the bottom is equal to the second thing on the top, and you add them all up. So let's do an example to see how this works. So suppose that z equals e to the x times sine y, and x equals s times t squared, and y equals s squared times t. So let's calculate partial z, partial s. OK, so this is partial z, partial x, partial x, partial s, plus partial z, partial y, partial y, partial s. Now uh, dz dx is just e to the x sine y. And partial x partial s is just t squared. And partial z partial y is e to the x cosine y. And partial y partial s is 2st. Now, we really should express this as a function of s and t. So we have to substitute back for x and y to write this as a function of s and t. So when we do that, we get e to the, and instead of an x here, I put an st squared. So e to the st squared sine of y, which is s squared t, times t squared, plus, and now for the second term, I have e to the st squared cosine of y, which is s squared t, times 2st. OK? And you could also take the original formula for z and plug in the formulas for x and y and take the partial derivatives of that, and you should get the same answer. OK? And we can also calculate partial z, partial t. So that's partial z partial x, partial x, partial t, plus partial z, partial y, partial y, partial t. So partial z, partial x, just as before, is e to the x, 
sine y, and dx dt is 2st, then partial z partial y is e to the x cosine y, and partial y partial t is s squared, and now we substitute in for x and y to get a function of s and t. So I have e to the st squared sine of s squared t times 2st plus e to the st squared cosine of s squared t times s squared.